Hello everybody and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 3. We left off last episode having so, uh, made major breakthroughs on the Italian front. The Alps pocket has been reduced down to one province and we're just going to let the enemy starve to death there. Maybe. And I am making pretty um, quick progress uh, moving west. Yeah, I'm currently encircling Lisbon as well. Nice. So I'm currently trying to create a breach in the front here. I've got, let's see, that's six, seven, eight, nine divisions. Um, seven divisions? Kind of that wrong. Seven divisions attacking. Uh, looks like we're making some good progress. I got all my bombers bombing. I got plenty. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use... No, I'm going to leave my tanks out of this for now because they can use the time to recoup. But I do have fresh units I can bring into the fight as well. I have more tanks than I thought I did. That's one, two, that's one. And there's three over here? I built four divisions of tanks? Man, I thought I had three. Sweet! Nice. <laughs> Delightful. And I can start researching the infantry branch upgrades. I think the next I think the next thing that I'm gonna end up putting on my production queue is like real tanks. Huzzah! Some some actual he uh, medium tanks with uh, you know good support units that can to put out a lot of uh, a lot of pressure. It's just it's it's nice that my my army is past the point where we're desperately trying to fu funnel men into the front. Yeah, that was oh, oof, that was scary. It is fun though. That I sure is. I mean, that's the beauty of playing as a smaller nation, when you can't just uh, send in million men to into a battle, you need to be a little bit careful. Mm-hmm. And kind of focus on the little things. Okay, the Italian Navy found my raiders here, so I'm just going to send them away again. Which means that it's time to take out Lisbon. think you're going to be too brokenhearted about that. Oh, wow, yeah, you did make a lot of progress over there. I mean, they had three divisions, and I overrun all of them. How, how many men did, uh, did you actually end up sending over there? I got five divisions. Okay, so a core. Yeah. My light bombers are having a field day. They've got their experience up to, like, 80%. That's nice. Our tactical bombers have not had nearly as much play, though, so let's see, they're at 39%. My fighters, they should be pretty good. About mm, low to mid-60s. I think the Italian Air Force stopped flying. Uh, they're probably repairing right now, somewhere. They're all in Milano. But I'm about to surround... Well, I'm... I'm Attempting to make a, a little surround there. Just gonna breach it, uh, breach the river, and then we'll be able to hit Milano from three sides, no problem. And then we'll have a great little um, uh, bridgehead to attack Genoa from, and we'll be able to cut off everybody in the west as well. Indeed. That's why I'm leaving my tanks in reserve. So we've got about two months before Germany starts kicking. Not against us, though, but against others. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing what's going to happen. Ooh, another mountain division. What? Well, we don't need you on the front right now, so just uh, wait. Sit in the back, do your thing. Is there an actual benefit to using, like, mountain infantry HQs instead of regular HQs? Uh, 
Well, they actually, the HQs are such that you can replace your core HQs with those. They might give you a slight bonuses for the troops below them, but it's mostly, I think, uh, that you can easily figure out that, okay, this is... I was is, about to say, uh, for flavor. <laughs> yeah, mostly flavor. It doesn't cost too much to switch them around. Yeah, that's what I was wondering. I never really thought that made that big of a difference. You know, the Italian fighters tried to fight me in Trieste there, but they took pretty heavy casualties there. Good. Oh, my leg bombers are having an absolute field day. <laughs> They don't have any anti-aircraft guns, and the Italian fighters are nowhere to be seen. Oh, they're all they're all jacked up. Well, because they were fighting me. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's give us some. All right, tanks. You are about to have your day in the sun. Hey, I'm highly popular again. Huzzah! Huzzah! I'm actually. Oh, I'm just highly. I was uh, very high popularity at some point. I actually gotta, I gotta say, I really enjoy my cavalry. They've been very effective. There's, they're increasing their speed was was a good choice. That's been a big help for a lot of these battles. Oh yeah. Being able to have those those speedy units um, zip in there, you know, 50% faster than the infantry. Oh, they don't have anyone in Pavia. Not right now, at least. Nope. Oh, now they do. Oh. <laughs> like, I looked at it and I was like, yeah, that's that's free. I was about to grab a cavalry division. To... No, 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 no. It's to be expected, though. True. Rhodes level three. Nice. All right. Tanks, go get them. I mean, yeah, attacking from there to Pavia, yeah, there's actually no crossing penalty either. Mm -mm. I've got plenty of units in here to exploit a breach. I'm attacking in three different ways. So we go there. I'm actually going to start dumping a lot of troops into there. <laughs> oh, better roads. That's delightful. But yeah, out of 14 points that the Portuguese have, they have only 4 points in Europe. Oh, really? Yep. <laughs> uh, so you're just going to have to sit on them for a while? Well, I mean, uh, I can take out uh, Azores and Madeira and possibly even Cape Verde. But it's going to be a bit tricky, I can tell you that much. Yeah. But, I mean, what I can do, of course, is that uh, once I've taken that, once we've taken out Italy, or once I've taken the islands that I can reach, and once I've taken out Italy, I can then move my troops to Portugal and start fighting Spain. Good. Once I've taken out Spain, they have most of their points within Europe, so then I should get a port in Africa, actually, and that's going to allow me to actually do the landings that I need. Excellent. Tell my fighters to cool it for just a few days. Fought a pretty big battle, and one of them's at zero warg. Ah. That's okay, though. Their fighters are jacked up, too, so my bombers will still fly. I'll expand, expand my area of the fighters now, then. Give some air cover for the troops. Cancel the Battle of Pavia there because they just got too. They managed to filter too many troops in there for me to properly exploit that. But I'm still going to hit south, and hopefully I could just blitz my way into Genoa. Possibly. Well, if I can get in there quickly, it's not going to turn into the Second Battle of Venice. That was a <laughs> burn the city down. <laughs> not that. Not, not not that I'm terribly opposed to burning down. 
and my enemy cities. If you, you know, you, you fought it against me, it's, it's you gotta, you, you, it's it's gonna happen when you when you step yeah, on Yeah, they brought it on themselves by fighting Mac. Exactly. You should know your place. Well, just let me hit you. <laughs> Start. Um, well, I got a ways before. No, I, I should probably put. Let's see, land construction. We're gonna go. Get this started. Division HQ. Truck transport. Armored service battalion. Motorized engineers. Well, the capital is um, here still. Interesting. Armored recon. Oh. Now that Portugal doesn't have any ports here in their capital area, they won't be able to supply anything elsewhere. Nope. Oh, that's a good point. I might not armor, even armor. take that city then. Motorized infantry. And we put some ass guns in there. Oh, crap. All right. Oh, no, that's the that's screen. Oh, oh, no. Hopefully it didn't. No, it didn't crash. Good. Armor, tanks, tanks, motorized infantry, tank destroyer, artillery, recon, engineers, armored service battalion, trucks, and division HQ. That sounds good. Start production. Just want to make sure that those are on the production queue before the next thing falls off the production queue in a few days so I don't waste any IC. Yep. Oh no. A couple rebels. Uh, where's my rebel squashers? There they are. Oh, finally, we go get them. Well, that's a rebellion. We need to take out quite a few provinces in Sweden. Nothing important, though, but. Oh, that's a bit of an air battle. I'm fighting uh, 19 bombers in uh, Ferrara. Oh, so it's, 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 it's just a complete clusterfuck. You could say that, yeah. More targets than bullets. I mean, that's pretty useful for Finns. True. That's, ve that's very accurate. <laughs> Fighters. Ah, you guys are good enough to fly again. Air intercept. Go get them. Oh, they're trying to break off from the encirclement right now. Oh, they stole. Aw, aw. Let's see. Uh, they're not out of supplies yet. No, not yet. Oh, we left a province open though. No, I don't think. Uh... Oh no, they can't get. They can't get. Yeah, that one. they can't get there. Okay, never, never mind. All right, I think I'm about, I'm about to win in both the battles I'm fighting right now. It looks like. Yep, yep, yep. Looks like they pulled most of their troops out of Milano, too, so the city probably won't be able to put up that much of a fight. But I'm not even going to bother assaulting it until I know if I'm going to be able to take Genoa yet. Fair point. Well, the way I see it is if I can successfully cut off the western, this western trunk here, yeah. there's no point in me assaulting these units and wasting manpower and lives on units that are just going to starve to death and don't matter. Well, I mean, uh, I think that since they do have cities over there, they might not take the full supply penalty. Well, this, uh, each city produces, like, a small amount of supplies, but I think it's pretty minuscule. Yeah. I have no idea how much it is exactly, but it's pretty small. And there's another mountain division, all finished and ready to go. Definitely exactly what I thought was going to happen. All the mountain, well, two of the mountain divisions actually finished in time to fight in the mountains. The rest are just elite. They're my elite infantry. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Major victory. Yes. Go, 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 gadget tanks. Oh, I don't think there's anybody defending Venice. Or Genoa. There's. Nope. 
There's nobody there! <laughs> go, 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 go! Oh, they're trying to attack Ramona, but I do have troops there. This is this is beautiful. All right, when are the cavalry gonna arrive? Uh, November fourteenth. It's tomorrow. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. <laughs> they have no ports either over on that side. <laughs> beautiful. And thankfully, they surrendered Genoa without a fight. They didn't make me murder them. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, the bombers are again out of uh, of things to do. I will probably help a little bit surrounding Milano. I'm actually just going to put them on ground attack on all of Italy. So just go bomb things. <laughs> actually, how? Oh, my close air support has a range of uh, 858 kilometers. That's not oh, that's bad. pretty good. If I go for air map mode. Oh, I can't actually see the range for some reason now. Oh well. Got Genoa. And my armor divisions are act are in production. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, I got more intercept players on the line. I th I think that's the next thing I'm gonna do is once the um Let's see, because once the assault... Well, I've got one more infantry... Um, or mm, uh, mountain infantry division coming. Um, and then a bunch of assault guns. Once the first assault guns start coming off, then I'll have room to put on some more airplanes. It's actually worried that it might be tough to get across the river with the crossing penalties, but managed to take advantage of the, of the, the route in the west and cross yeah. the river without too much issue. That's what I usually do as well. The first Stugs will be off the production line. I don't I don't know if they're actually Stugs. I'm just saying that. Uh, let's see. That'll be May. Not bad. Oh, my God. The, the guys I told to just attack her, they're bombing the pocket. That's so sad. <laughs> oh. Beautiful, is it not? All right, let's see if we can't uh, waltz our way into Milano now. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, some hand there. There's one division defending it, and they're not defending it that hard. <laughs> So happy that worked out. Uh, I, I wasn't anticipating that. I just saw an opportunity and went for it. Yeah, this has been fairly successful war so far. Mm -hmm. Let's see, how do my how do my generals feel about that experience wise? Ooh, skill level five on that one. Oh yeah, and he's almost up to skill. The army is uh, leader is almost up to skill level six. That's perfect. Oh, let me actually have a look at my armor leader now. It was a skill for he's still skill four. I haven't got that much experience, but the core leaders have probably got them therapy. Yeah, the division leaders are also pretty damn good. I think my lowest uh, division leader around here is skill three. Most of the skill three leaders are almost skill four. Yeah, it's been, it's been a lot of a lot of good farming experience over in Italy. Oh yeah. Those those uh, commanders can make a big difference in your game too. Yeah, that they can indeed, especially in this once they start 
earning the different uh, the traits and the medals and all that. Mm -hmm. They all increase the effectiveness. Oh yeah. Apparently my bombers just wanted an easy time. They I keep seeing ground attack, ground attack, ground attack, and loss of. Oh yeah, they're going again. Oh, so okay. Well, <laughs> they can't fight back, so you guys do you. I'm actually start attacking there already. Oh, their fighter, their fighters are um pretty messed up right now. A lot while their bombers are too. Everything's pretty jacked up right now. Definitely use an increase of the size of my air force, though. That would be a good idea. Well, they're much more effective now. Uh, I have decent designs. True. Except for my my fighters are out of date, but everything else is okay. I mean, my interceptors are pretty good, but although they are still technically behind time, a little bit. My bombers are way out of. My, I'm on. I'm on tier one bombers. Ah. But they're still they're still plenty effective when there's nothing to shoot back. True. And I, and they're they'll be dead, they'll be up, the next level upgrade will be done in pretty soon. So. Oh, building prop. I like that. We're building proper tanks now. Not just light tanks for exploiting gaps and whatnot, but proper proper Romanian tanks. These light, light tank divisions are zippy, almost 10 kilometers per hour. Yeah, they can go pretty fast. Um, and they're not, well, unfortunately, they're not going any faster than that because there's two things slowing them down, the motorized infantry and uh, um, the engineers. But I think 10 kilometers an hour is zippy enough for what they're doing. Oh, yeah. That's not capable of exploiting any enemy gaps. Mm-hmm. Done it multiple times. Oh, this big stack of, um, uh, that I'm attacking right now, this big stack, it looks like a big stack of infantry, but it's just a bunch of colonels. Ah. Oh. I love it when you, when, when that happens, it's like, oh god, this looks like it might be tough. Oh god, it's, it's just a bunch of non-coms. <laughs> Never mind, they're gonna surrender. I can probably put some of the reinforcement I see to production now. Monumental architecture. I see plus three. Oh, I so Soviet blueprints for medium armor design level four. Ooh, T thirty fours. It might be. I'm actually gonna have to check what the model is. It's, BT it's, got, the, it's got the number four in it. It tracks. Yeah, BT forty three. BT forty three. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Let's even the front out a little bit here. Battle commander advance. Time between attack reduced by nine hours. That's me. Alrighty. Yeah, the combat Italy effective is in here. But I'll control no. pretty much now. Yep. Uh, ooh, and it's time to add a, add a war goal. Acquire territory. The Italy part of Italy. Oh, that was that was the most fun I've had fighting in the Alps in this game, I think. <laughs> yeah, generally speaking, it's not very lovely, but... No, <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Combat surgery. Casualty trigger back and less attrition. Nice. I think I can get in on that. 
Pretty, quite a nice little pocket over here. And as soon as my troops move into position, we'll continue the assaults. Uh, the assault guns are going to greatly increase the supply consumption of my infantry divisions, but I'm not super concerned about that, considering I don't have a lot of divisions, so I figure the ones I do have can afford to be a little tougher. Depends on their location, but we are out of time for this episode. Oh, indeed. Well, everybody, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you've been enjoying the series, and we will see you all next time. Bye.